Good afternoon, everyone. My name is John Namba. I'm one of the regional instructors for the National Wood Flooring Association. This session here is on new technology. What I'm going to be introducing here is a couple of products have been out on the marketplace for a little bit, but installers haven't really been exposed to it, so I'm, I'm hoping that uh, we can expose some new ideas and thought processes for you and show you what's out in the industry that's available to use installers. There's one tool that hasn't really hit the market yet. We're going to actually, this will be the first introdu introduction of this tool. And uh, I think you're gonna find it's really neat. Like I said, it's not out on the market yet, but it's that new technology, all right? So first we're gonna talk about this particular laser system. This happens to be from Bosch. This came out, it's actually been on, out on, on the market for a couple of years. How many of you are familiar with this GSL-2 laser? So it's been out on the market yet, on our side of the industry, on the flooring side, we really haven't been introduced to it. I got introduced to it by uh, just doing some browsing. I was looking for lasers. We use lasers in a lot of our flooring applications. And so I, I ran across this. When we're out there on a job site, whether it's concrete, whether it's wood, we have our industry guidelines, we have our manufacturer guidelines for floor flatness, right? We don't deal with floor level in our industry, we deal with floor flatness. So on a wood substrate, our tolerances are basically a quarter inch in 10 feet, right? On concrete, it's 3 16 in 10 feet. That's not much tolerance. And one thing that you can almost guarantee Anyone who, of you who uh, has installed, pretty much guarantee we don't run into very flat surfaces, do we? Our substrates, it seems like we're always having to address whether, whether it's wood subfloors, even concrete subfloors, right? So this tool here, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this. It basically has, if I can bend over here, it has, it has two lasers that uh, shoot out. So if you notice, I'm going to kind of throw the, laser, the beams off for a minute here. There are two beams. There are two beams right there. I'm going to just set it right there for now. So what you've got to do, you see these two beams out in the front here. You dial into where you have one beam, all right? You dial into where there's one beam, continuous beam, and that's your, that's your point. Now. Anywhere this beam splits, you can, you can see it shooting across that floor. It, you can see that beam separating, coming back together, separating. Anywhere that beam splits, there's an undulation. It's either going to be high or it's going to be low. Those of you who use 10-foot straight edges, we use those crosshair lasers, we use uh, string lines. Those work great, but are we hitting every, are you checking every single area of that floor? A lot of times we're not, are we? We're just, you know, we're trying to get surface checks and, you know, to try to measure every inch of that floor. It's, you could, you know, two days on a job, right, just for that. What this tool enables us to do is one person can, can verify all these tests. Because why? This will spin 360 degrees. I'm walking around, checking out my floor. I see where it opens up. I see where it closes up. If I need to stop it and check that spot, I can come in with my target. And, and it's kind of hard in this area because we really don't have an area. I'm, I'm going to turn it this other direction here. Let me see if I can get it to come over here. I'll turn it this way so you can all see what's going on here. So we have this beam. I'm able to just pretty much 360, right? So I, I get to a point where I need to stop, I'll stop it over here so you folks over there can see. Let's say there's an undulation in the floor. I stop, I'm gonna check it. Right now this is still a single beam, but let's say there was a, you know, a hump in the floor. What I would do is I would align my target here and then see how far off this is telling me, it's, it's got gradient readings here. It tells me, I'll set this here, line it up on this V here, set the point wherever that high point is. 
or low point, and that tells me I'm, I could be quarter inch high on this side. If, it's on, if the beam's right in here, it's going to tell me I'm a quarter inch low. The nice thing about this is I can target an entire room in about five minutes. And I just set my laser, and one person. These are really accurate between 36, 30 to 60 feet, all right, within an eighth, within an eighth of an inch. I probably shouldn't get too close to that. But if you look, all I got to do, I can watch it. I'm just watching. Wherever that beam splits open, I can just stop it, take my measurement, and go from there. So right here, it's open. If you notice, you can't see it over there. The beam's together right here. It's opened about 3 eighths of an inch, and it's back together right here. So let's see what we got here. So if I line this up and set it there, I'm about, it's about an eighth of an inch. I'm about an eighth of an inch high right here. Well, the beam comes together right here, and it separates right here again. So right there, I am about just a little over an eighth of an inch out. All I got to do is get a pencil, mark out what it is, mark out what it is, all right? I can determine, do I meet my 10 feet, you know, 3 sixteenths and 10 feet? Because if you, if you think about the, the guidelines, they just tell you quarter inch and 10 feet, but it's in 10 foot radius, right? What have we just done? We're able to record our radius, all right? One guy walking the floor, marking it and man does it look cool you know and what's nice about it you have a customer that you're you know you're trying to sh show what's going on man I've, I've got a laser system you know it's telling me exactly what's going on with your floor I don't sell these products I don't make any money off of these products but when I see something that works for installers it's something I want to, you know, pass on. And that's why, you know, I, I chose the, the newer technology. This is available online. You guys can look it up. It's, uh, it's from Bosch. I think it's GSL2 is the laser system. Look it up. If you want to buy it, fine. There, I think they're between $400 and $450, all right? But think about the time you're going to save. You're covering your rear ends, right? Because you're checking your floor flatness on your concrete substrates, on your wood substrates. I'll tell you what, guys. It just makes you look more professional, all right? Okay, you can come see us after the show for any questions, all right, on any of the tools we're showing. Next up, we have, you want to go get, get uh, yeah, go ahead and get ready there. Traditional nailers were, the, how many of you guys learned on manuals? Manual nailers, all right? I'm not going to ask if anybody started with just a hammer and nail here, cut nails or anything, because hopefully there's nobody that old here. But we traditionally, you know, we've always had these, these floor nailers. We started out with the manual. And now we've come to the point where we're using pneumatic, pneumatic staplers, pneumatic nailers, cleats, or staples, right? You ever get tired of dragging a hose? You're going around the corners, you know, you and you have this hose, you have 100 feet of hose, 50 feet of hose, whatever you have, you're always constantly battling with the hose, right? Well, Daniel Bennett and his brother Steve, who are NWFA members, they're two installers. Daniel is one of those, he's got a weird mind. You know, he's always trying to think too much. So Daniel one day decides, hmm, he's got an idea about going without the cord, long cord dragging around here. And Daniel, why don't you come on out? I'm gonna have you model what you've got on your back here. So Daniel has a backpack. This tank, this, this happens to be one of the small tanks. His, this is just his demonstration tank. This happens to hold 4,000 cubic inches? Oh, 4,000 PSI. Okay, 4,500, let's be exact. All right. <laughs> this tank right here with this nail gun, let's, this 16 gauge nail gun will run how many fasteners with this tank? Oh, about over 1,500, 2,000. 
1,500 to 2,000 with that tank, all right? What will it do with that pneumatic nailer? Uh, depending on the tank size, well over 1,000. Okay, so with this, t this particular tank you got here, uh, would you? Bigger tank here, it'll be probably about 1,200. 1,200 with this tank, all right? With this tank. He says it comes in different sizes. This is his, just his traveling demo pack, all right? So I'm gonna have him show you, we're just gonna show you a finish, finish nailer here with the pneumatic system. And uh, he's going to, we have our starter row, okay? He's going to put down a starter row here. I'm going to, he's going to beef it up a little bit because we're only going to do one row this way. Just want to do one? Yeah, yeah, do, well, do the one row then, then switch over to the uh, other nailer. That way we can kind of show him what's going on here. So we've eliminated, here's one thing we've eliminated. If you, do you hear? With, with him running that, this is what you don't hear, all right? If you're, in an, uh, if you're in an occupied space, having this kick on versus that, what's nicer? This, wow. Or, so. Is it for every single job out there? No. Does it have an application? I believe it does. Could it possibly be one of the future developments out there? Depends on if a manufacturer wants to back him up. I don't know. Who knows? What do you guys think? All right. Pretty darn impressive, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> You'll have to talk to Daniel. All right. When I saw, it's, it's lighter than my backpack that I might put my laptop in. It's very light. And then he said, this is, this is not even the lightest container. It meets all safety, regula all safety regulations, Department of Transportation, all your health regulations, your safety regulations. It meets and exceeds all those. And it's just, yeah, and it, all it is is compressed air. So there's, you know, there's no oxygen, no nitrogen. It's compressed air. All right, so we've installed our floor. We, you know, we've done, we've done one cut with our sanding machines. So between each sanding, we do what? We vacuum, right? Okay. So Daniel's come up with a system for a vacuum. It's a little bit different than what you're seeing here on the show floor because this is what we refer to as a brushless motor, all right? This is a brushless motor, so there's no, there are no brushes. You're hearing that technology a lot in your tools nowadays with your cordless tools and that and you're hearing that brushless technology. That's what he's introduced here. So he's got a vacuum system here that uh, it's, it's HEPAVAC. It's portable. He's got his hose here. He's got uh, a wand that's kind of different than what you're used to. Those of you who have used wands before, they tend to have that curve, right? You notice this wand? It's straight. All right? It's a little bit, it's almost like pulling a T-bar. So if you've pulled a T-bar, you should be able to vacuum real easy. The nice thing about this that I found, you know, here we are, whether you have a backpack, you're attached to it, you're always doing this, right? Constant back and forth. Ergonomically, oh my gosh. When I, when I touched this thing, I thought, oh, man. There's, there's no strain. There's no strain on my shoulder, back and forth, and my elbow. It's just an easy, easy and quick, all right? I'm gonna have them throw some sawdust on the floor, and then he can kind of show you what, uh, you know, what they're picking. So we have fasteners. Normally, you're not gonna leave your fasteners on top of your wood, right? He's got, they've got different heads for this. So you can hear, you can hear the power of that. All right, go for it. So, from the traditional bent wand that has a swivel head, to a straight wand with a swivel head. A little bit different technique, 
little more ergonomically friendly for the installer. I just wrote an article in Floor Covering Installer Magazine. I think it's coming out in the next edition about me, basically me getting old. That's what it's about, really, it is. Because, you know, when I was in my 20s, in my 30s, and the title of the, the article is, Superman Got Nothing on Me. Because when you're at 20 and 30, you, you, are, you are like Superman, right? Wait till you hit 50, all right? Those of you who think you're tough now, you wait till you hit 50, because 50 is the magical number. That's when things just fall apart. Those of you who are past 50 know what I'm talking about. So what I'm trying to instill on you, you younger guys, because a lot of us older guys have, have lived through this, and you know, we're, we're starting to, go, you know, we're kind of on the downside. We're not uh, installing you know, like we used to. I still get out there every day when I can, but I'm not there on a daily basis. If we can save you guys time, money, energy on your, and, and wear and tear on your bodies, you know what? I think that's a good thing. Thank you for attending. Enjoy the rest of the show. Hope to see a lot of you tonight at the uh, event and then have some fun, all right? Thanks so much.